Oregano is commonly referred to as nature's antibiotic because of its antibacterial, antiviral and antifungal properties, which help to protect and fight against various strains of bacteria, yeast and fungi. Unlike prescription antibiotics, oregano essential oil is unlikely to cause many of the harmful side effects commonly associated with high antibiotic use, such as increased risk for antibiotic resistance, the destruction of beneficial probiotic bacteria, which in turn can lead to poor gut health, and damage to the gut lining, which can reduce vitamin absorption and lead to leaky gut syndrome. But oregano oil can do more than just act as a natural antibiotic. It can help improve ailments such as athlete's foot, ringworm or toenail fungus, candida overgrowth, act as a treatment for common colds, sinus infections or allergies. It may help with gingivitis, ear aches or toothaches, and assist with digestive problems like heartburn and small intestine bacterial overgrowth or SIBO. You can see my blog post, which I've linked in the description below, for a full guide on using oregano oil to treat common medical conditions. It's important to note that oregano oil is highly concentrated and should never be used undiluted. This oregano oil recipe that I'll be sharing with you today is not the same thing as oregano essential oil. It's an infused oil containing many of the same therapeutic properties found in essential oils, but at a much lower concentration making it a more gentle version of oregano essential oil. While the oregano leaves are steeping, the natural active resins within the plant are extracted and drawn into the oil, making it a concentrated oil full of the herb's healing properties. To make this oregano infused oil, begin by drying out the fresh oregano you'll be using. If you're using dried oregano already, you can skip this step. To dry the leaves, first harvest a bunch of fresh organic oregano sprigs from your garden or collect some oregano from your local farmer's market or grocery store. Then give it a good wash under running water to remove any impurities. Then pat the leaves dry once finished. From there, take some twine and tie together about 5-6 to six sprigs at the bottom of the stalks. If you tie too many in one bundle, it will prevent good airflow. Next, find a spot in your house that has good air circulation and not a lot of moisture. Find a spot to hang the bundles upside down, then allow them to dry for two to four weeks. The exact time frame will vary as it really depends on the conditions of your home. It can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to one month. The oregano will be ready once the leaves and stalks are brittle and fall apart easily. The leaves should crumble when touched. Once dried, remove the oregano leaves from the stalks, the stems can be composted, then dice or crush up the leaves into small pieces for use in making oregano oil. To make the oil, place half a cup of dried oregano leaves into a glass jar and pour half a cup of extra virgin olive oil over the top, or enough oil to completely cover the oregano, then stir to combine. Make sure all of the oregano is completely covered by the oil. Cap the jar tightly with a lid and place the jar on a sunny windowsill to sit for 4-6 to six weeks to infuse. Gently shake the oil once or twice a day to help it infuse with the oregano. After 4-6 to six weeks, strain the oil through some cheesecloth or a nut milk bag and pour the oil into a clean dark glass bottle for storage. Store the oil out of direct sunlight and in a cool dark dry place. As a general rule, the recommended dosage for oregano oil is around 2-3 to three drops at a time, going up to 3 doses a day. If you opt to take it daily, it's recommended to use the oregano oil for no more than 2 weeks, then take a break for at least a week before resuming again. And that is how to make oregano infused oil at home. I hope you enjoyed the video, please let me know if you do make this recipe yourself and how it goes for you, I'd love to know. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.